For people with prior evictions and other blemishes from their past, finding housing can be a nightmare. For some, it's how they wind up experiencing homelessness. A new program from a Bloomington-based shelter looks to give people a second chance, as you'll hear from WGLT's Melissa Ellen. Home Sweet Home Ministry says it is still looking for landlords to work with its master leasing program. Shelly Hart experienced homelessness on and off for about two years. I went through a rough time and um, I just, I lost my job and I got behind on rent and I got evicted from my place. Then she found herself at Home Sweet Home Ministry shelter in Bloomington. It's there she got a new lease, both on a rental unit and to some extent on life. They gave me a way to see hope and a better future, like it, that it could be good again and that I could be a functional adult and happy, and that I deserve that happiness. Hart is one of three people to join Home Sweet Home's master leasing program. It allows tenants to sublease through an organization that is often willing to be more flexible about who they let into their units. CEO Matt Burgess says the shelter is giving people who can afford to rent but have some insurmountable barrier a shot. Barriers can be anything from poor credit to felony conviction. In Hart's case, a prior eviction. Burgess says for people like Hart, Home Sweet Home looks beyond these blemishes for prospective renters they know and trust. This one thing should not be what's in their way of getting housed. The shelter is currently finding participants like Hart through its resident pool. Community Outreach Director Steve Tassio says they hope to start coordinating with other service providers soon. They're looking forward to an update of the homeless management information system that area service providers share. This way, the shelter can effectively connect with the clients most in need. Funding is coming through grants and donations. That's how the organization largely operates already. Home Sweet Home CEO Matt Burgess says the housing crisis has also led to this program. In a looser housing market, a, a landlord is going to be more willing to accept a lower credit score or, you know, maybe take a, an applicant that doesn't look as great on paper. But because we are so tight now, landlords don't have to do that. They've got 10 applicants for an apartment. Given the nature of master leasing, Home Sweet Home is being affected by the crisis itself. It's currently working with a few area landlords who are willing to let the organization sublease, but finding more can be an issue. The nonprofit must compete with everyone else. Right now, Home Sweet Home is building relationships with landlords and finding more to work with the shelter down the line. Burgess says it will likely take years before they develop a robust portfolio of units to master lease. He adds that the shelter is still determining whether the program can work. This is the first time it's done something like this. It's a risk for us organizationally to take this step. It puts our name on the line. It puts our financial resources on the line indefinitely. The shelter's housing navigator, Jacob Phillips, says there's also going to need to be some flexibility in the program. Master leasing is meant to get people back on their feet and ready to rent solo. That means variable lease lengths. Each individual client is so different and their long-term trajectory is so different. And so we want to be able to, I guess, look at it that very open-handed. For example, Burgess says there's one person Home Sweet Home is working with who thinks he'll only need a half year or so to get back on his feet. He doesn't want to get locked into a one-year lease because that would mean time away from his son, who he's trying to get back to. If there was a unit available, Burgess says Home Sweet Home could offer him a six-month lease. And if he's ready to move out before then, that's fine too. Because we'll always have a next person to bring in to serve in that unit. Home Sweet Home has three one-year leases with landlords. Housing navigator Jacob Phillips says he would like to see that change in the future. He notes there are benefits of extending leases to two or three years so the shelter can better meet client needs. Community Outreach Director Steve Tassio says the shelter has a lot of ideas about how master leasing can turn into permanent housing for participants. After all, permanent, stable shelter is the ultimate goal for all Home Sweet Home residents. Tassio says it would be ideal for Home Sweet Home clients to take over the leases from their landlords directly, but that would leave Home Sweet Home in a lurch, trying to find another unit to master lease. We're still feeling this out. 
seeing what the benefits are, especially to the landlords. But we want the clients to have the most dignified experience as possible as quickly as possible. Home Sweet Home staff are also trying to figure out how to help clients build better credit. With the current arrangement, Tassio says that's not always happening since landlords would have to report on behalf of Home Sweet Home clients. We know that to be an issue, and therefore we try to work through other ways to build credit. Home Sweet Home staff are going to continue working with clients throughout their time master leasing. Housing navigator Jacob Phillips or someone else will meet with each client regularly to make sure they're adjusting to life alone, able to meet rent payments, and are working toward being successful on their own. Master Lease participant Shelly Hart says this has been one of the best things to happen to her recently. She adds that Home Sweet Home has made a huge difference in her outcome. And I was terrified when I moved uh, here. And I mean, I should I, I, I get emotional because they literally changed my life. Phillips has been working with Hart to meet her goals. She says her next step is to get a job, but she's also excited for the little things, like being able to have people over to her new space. She doesn't want to fall back into depression either, but with the shelter's resources, she's not too concerned about the future. I'm Melissa Allen.